Hi guys, um, just wanted to give you a quick little um, uh, tip, a practice tip really. Um, I've been asked this question quite a few times by students, like how do you warm up um, when you're practicing? Um, I tend to spend about 10-15 minutes warming up, uh, sometimes maybe twice a day, depending on if I've taken a little bit of a break between practices or whatever whatever I'm trying to do on the guitar. Uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've had on and off hand, prob hand problems like pretty much most guitarists or most musicians out there. So obviously there's like a whole set of stretch. I'll show those to you another day. But I just wanted to show you a couple of little things I do uh, when I uh, warm up. Actually, one main exercise I do when I warm up um, and it's a really good little exercise if you're getting into guitar playing as well. It's a little good exercise for your fingers. Um, basically, uh, if you think about your fingers in your left hand, uh, you've effectively got 24 combinations of fingerings uh, under in your fingers. And I'm going to leave you to actually work them out, but I'll give you a few pointers. So if, we, if you start with your first finger, you're going to have um, fingering one, two, three, four. So I'm starting on the fifth fret here of A. Uh, with a clean sound. I tend to practice, by the way, always with a clean sound. And I'm going one, two. Now, when I'm warming up, I always practice very slowly. And the idea is you go up and then descend back doing the same fingering. Okay? You can even, if you want, you can go up the neck for a couple of frets and then come back. You know, now the one, two, three, four fingering, you're going to see it's probably the easiest one for everyone. We're all used to that. But then what I suggest you do after that change, once you've done a couple of, you know, slow runs of that. Um, I'm also, by the way, just so you know, right hand alternate picking always. But you can also do this exercise legato. So it's nice to vary them as well. Okay. And then the next fingering will be still using, using my first finger. This time I'm going to go and my, so the combination of first and second finger. But this time, instead of going three, four at the end, I'm going to, I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to go one, two, four, three. I'm going to reverse it like that. Okay. And that completes two exercises with the first and second finger. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to move on with my third finger. So the first exercise would be one, two, sorry, one, three, two, four. And then you're going to start feeling a bit of difficulty here because that's a slightly unusual kind of fingering. And then you're going to guess that the next one will be keeping the 1-3 combination, but this time reverse it around the last two notes. So 1, 3, 4, 2. Yeah. And we all have uh, difficult points. So some, all of us have got some fingering that we're less comfortable with. And again, if, you, if, you, if you're hitting a mark with one that's quite difficult, spend a bit more time on that. Okay, uh, and then you know you can guess after that we've gone so we've done the one three now we're gonna go a combination of one four so it's gonna be one four two three. Oops. Okay, and then after that, yeah, you're gonna finish off with the finger with the combination of first and four by going one four three two. Okay, so that's for effectively the first six exercises. Now, if you think about it. Six exercise for one starting finger. That means you're going to get another six exercise starting with your second finger. Just to get you started off on that, you're going to go two. Mm. So the first one will be using the combination of your second and your first finger. You're going to go two, one, three, four. Yeah. Then after you're going to go two, one, four, three. Okay. And then you're gradually going to build up uh, all the 24 uh, fingering that are available. And these are pretty much, these are obviously the fingerings that are available to you. So the more you practice them, the more nimble you're going to become at being able to do this kind of, you know, fingering, especially if you're encountering some slightly more difficult fingerings in solos and all that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it sh this shouldn't take you longer than 10 minutes. I tend to do that slowly, get me into a groove, gets me thinking about what I'm going to work on today as well, or, you know, if they, you know, uh, while I'm doing these as well. So they're quite sort of relaxing anyway. Please do them slowly. And again, I, you know, I would urge you to practice a alternate pick and maybe also legato as well. Try all the combinations. Uh, perhaps write them down. That way you know which one you've done. Because uh, I, you know, again, sometimes it can get a bit confusing. It's a great warm up for when you're practice, about to start practicing or if you're um, about to play a gig. It's always a good little warm up for 10, 15 minutes. Anyway, till next time. Take care.